Secret Agent Man. Any Johnny Rivers fans here? Well, I can't travel back in time to 1966 when that song was released, but I did do plenty of time traveling in Anomaly Agent, a new action platformer that comes to us from a few, few games. That's a name I'll never get tired of saying. But does Anomaly Agent successfully climb the ranks, or will this message be self-destructing at the end of the video? Let's find out in our full review. But before that, it's no secret that we have a Patreon, which is home to the greatest indie gaming community on the internet. Head on over to patreon.com slash of indie games and you'll gain discord access early ad free shows shout outs at the end of every video we produce and even free games depending on the tier your new indie gaming community is waiting for you anomaly agent puts players in control of agent 70 or uh white pants or blue dragon that's probably confusing for you now but play the game and you'll understand and no i wasn't referring to the old xbox 360 jrpg blue dragon but shout out in the comments below if you've played that game before anyways if it wasn't already obvious this release has a very fun sense of humor and it's not an rpg time capers are not my usual jam but anomaly agent handles what can often be tricky subject matter with grace swagger and and hilarity. Let's face it, time traveling narratives often lead to messy plot holes, WTF moments, and in some cases, hilariously bad, inexplicable scenarios. It's almost as if the writers of this game fully understood and embraced those usually problematic situations and had a ton of fun doing so. Playing as Agent whatever you want to call him, you are the member of an elite task force brought together to take down various anomalies. You've just received a promotion from your chief, who is typically a bit grumpy as your misadventures are constantly causing them to grow and shrink, literally. Before your promotion can go through, you have to clear out a few remaining missions, however things go wrong when you discover an evil villain that possesses a powerful time stone. Without giving too much away, the time stone is shattered and you alongside your companions end up stuck in an endless, seemingly inescapable time loop. Now you'll travel through bars, dance clubs, seedy factories, and all sorts of different landscapes trying to escape this miserable cycle by piecing the stone back together. The dialogue in Anomaly Agent is written in a way that reminded me a bit of Tim Schafer's humor back when he was working on classic point-and-click adventure games. Think like Monkey Island, Full Throttle, Grim Fandango. It's definitely not literary brilliance on display here, but the short quips and humorous characters work to surprising effect. I encountered more laugh-out-loud moments than I anticipated, and overall thought the absurdity of the plot worked effectively throughout. Yes, this is a rare case of me enjoying time travel as a narrative device. Even cooler, there are choices to be made throughout the story that do indeed impact things a bit, which adds a good amount of replay value to the game. One minute you might be trying to pass yourself off as a clone, and in another instance you may be stuck in an epic dance battle. And that's just a taste of the absurdity that you can expect. Odds are you didn't come to Anomaly Agent for the story, however, though it is a nice bonus, you're here for the combat and platforming, which are both familiar and surprising in their own right. In essence, the gameplay loop is quite simple, and even familiar for fans of the genre. You travel through 2D levels, clearing out waves of enemies, encountering the next story segment, and occasionally jumping or rolling your way through sometimes tricky but forgiving platforming sections. You'll be using the analog stick to move your character, and soon realize that the combat is not quite as button mashy as it may seem. As you are swarmed by enemies, you'll need to roll out of the way of their attacks, often indicated by an exclamation mark over your foes' heads. Players can string together combos and will continue to learn more and more the further they progress. Outside of basic strikes, you can also utilize a baseball bat, various guns for ranged attacks, and even deflect bullets back towards foes. Deflection is also used to solve certain puzzles throughout the adventure. Anomaly Agent dishes out quite a few new combat elements the more you play, but does a nice job of slowly introducing them and not overwhelming the player. Before you know it, you'll be jumping into the air and crashing down on helpless victims with electric charged attacks, transitioning from strikes and kicks into baseball bats to the face, all while being being on guard and even breaking down shielded foes. It sounds like a lot, but feels pretty dang satisfying at times, though I will admit this game does not have what I would call a traditional control scheme. My hands were certainly cramping up during more intense enemy and boss encounters, mostly due to having to rely on the roll mechanics so often. Rolling is done with the right bumper if playing on an Xbox controller, and you'll be mashing at it often, trust me. While the frantic combat that more or less utilizes every button imaginable is fun and stylish, 
polish, it perhaps doesn't feel quite as fluid as the developers would have hoped. If you're anything like me, you'll trip over which button is which, and that can lead to plenty of deaths. Thankfully, Anomaly Agent is a forgiving experience, like I mentioned earlier, with the penalty for death being a slap on the wrist by losing some currency while respawning at the last encounter that claimed your life. Enemy AI isn't always the brightest, unfortunately. There were many instances where I could easily manipulate my foes into basic patterns where they were toppled by simply rolling and striking, rolling and striking, you get the idea. That said, some enemies actually do a decent job of supplying challenge and staying aggressive towards you, with boss encounters that are almost always entertaining. It isn't just enemies you'll have to be careful of, though, as there are plenty of environmental hazards during platforming sections and chase scenes. Pillars will crush you, you'll need to avoid electricity, and of course, you'll be doing plenty of double jumping so that you don't fall off of ledges and plunge to your doom. Sometimes portals also need to be utilized, which send you flying off in different directions. In these situations, your agent needs to bounce between a variety of these portals to ultimately reach his destination. As a platformer, Anomaly Agent is surprisingly competent. Heck, there are even a few puzzles thrown in for good measure. Most puzzles involve having to toss your boomerang or flip levers, but they're halfway decent and add nice variety in between the action. Currency is going to be earned by defeating foes, smashing environmental objects, or finding treasures that are often just a bit off the beaten path. This currency can be used in the game's upgrade system, accessed through robotic terminals strewn about levels. There is a full upgrade tree to be unlocked that can net you great perks such as more ammunition, or even adding elementals to your attacks such as poison. On top of all of the new skills and combos that can be obtained, conversations can earn you additional points which can be spent to either help increase your health or gain you additional funds. These points are earned by choosing either positive or negative dialogue choices. It's a pretty cool little system. While Anomaly Agent can feel pretty challenging at times, players will take comfort in the friendly checkpoints alongside three difficulty options that can be toggled at any time during gameplay. I welcome this feature as sometimes in games one section can spoil the whole experience, so it's really nice to be able to drop things down and then return to the normal difficulty if you want, or of course challenge yourself further if normal's a little too easy for you. Personally, the normal default settings for this one felt comfortable, but of course, that's just me, your skill level may vary. Visuals in Anomaly Agent are pretty decent, but not necessarily mind-blowing or anything you haven't seen before in other indies. You know, using a pixel art style isn't exactly new in the indie scene at this point, but it works well here, and the animations are actually very well done, especially when you're engaged in combat. I also give the game style points for how it introduces key characters. This can often lead to a flashy scene featuring hand-drawn portrait art of the character, and it looks great. However, it's the soundtrack that dropped my jaw to the floor in this one. This particular blend of retro synth is nasty in the best possible way. The songs are infectious and fit the action perfectly, with memorable melodies that will have your head bobbing along to the carnage. Playing this game on mute would be an absolute travesty, and I'm glad to see the soundtrack is for sale separately, as it's already an early candidate for best OST of the year. I just loved it. It really overshadows all of the other sounds in this game, which they really don't stand out compared to the soundtrack. It's a soundtrack that drives the whole experience. With its offbeat humorous story, satisfying combat and platforming, solid visual presentation, and outstanding soundtrack, Anomaly Agent is a better game than I anticipated. If you're wondering how it performs on Steam Deck, I tested it for just a few minutes. I played most of this game on my main PC, but the Steam Deck was running at 60 frames per second. I didn't have any issues in my time with this game. Seems like a nice fit for handheld too. Now I do think the combat in this title gets a little jumbled at times, that would be my main complaint, and my screen did sometimes have these random judders, I don't know exactly what that was all about, didn't happen all that often though, and certainly wasn't game breaking, but overall, I really had a great time playing through this one. It feels like an indie destined to become a cult classic, and I can't wait to see what this talented developer cooks up next. It's not quite perfect what game is, but it's really great. Therefore, I'm awarding Anomaly Agent the Silver Genie Lamp of approval.